What's good guys, if you need to make your ultimate team stronger, go to u7buy.com and buy yourself some cheap and reliable FC24 coins. Once you guys head over to u7buy.com, make sure to use my discount code DAN to get 6% off your next purchase on making that team better. Apart from FC coins, u7buy.com also provides more game services like top op mobile games, gift cards, game keys, etc. Click my link in the description and enjoy the cheapest prices now. Yo YouTube, what's going on and welcome to another video to the channel y'all boys and today I'm here to give you guys a top 10 best stay back midfielders in the FC 24 ultimate team at this stage of the game. Go ahead and let me know in the comment section down below and tell me who has been your favorite stay back DM at this stage of the game that has been clamping up for you during team of this season. Now, what do I mean about stay back midfielder? Now, as you guys have mentioned in my previous ranking videos in the past, Whenever I do the top 10 best midfielder series, I include both box to box and stay back midfielders. Now, I feel like at this stage of the game, since there's a lot and a lot of good options in the midfield spot, I feel like it's the right time to separate and put one video stay back defensively and another video for a box to box role. For today's video, it's gonna include any type of midfielder that in my opinion would be the best stay back at that position. Obviously for today's video, you're gonna see a lot of players that would play very well the box-to-box -box role very nicely But I feel like as a stay back DM they would do even better because their dribbling is not super top tier And it's just mainly a personal preference There can be somebody that's a good box-to-box -box and you probably would say they would be a good stay back DM But for those type of cards, they're not gonna be included on today's list They will most likely be in the box-to-box -box video. So just keep that in mind we all got different experiences with certain guards, agree to disagree. Whenever I am performing these rankings throughout this week, just keep that in mind that we're most likely not going to share the same list. With that being said, let's get into the first honorable mention right now. Now guys, just like in my CB's video, it was very difficult to put this list together, but the first honorable mention was, you know, very difficult. A lot of people got left out that Tushimeni SPC, that Makalela SPC, that Essien Evolution, that Ederson SPC that got released recently, that's pretty solid for the most part. That team of the season, Stanway as well. But first audible mention is gonna be 93 rated team of the year icon, Lothar Mateus, 5'9 on the height, high, high work rates, double four star on those skill moves and weak foot, right foot. The acceleration type is controlled, 91 pace, 90 shooting, 91 passing, 84 dribbling, 92 defending, 85 physicality as well. Now the play styles that Mr. Mateus comes with is anticipate a rapid relentless quick step online basic the two play styles on gold are power shop and dead ball as well now here's what i mean that i would prefer these type of cards as a stay back dm than as a box to box because obviously mateus can definitely play the box to box role but if you look at his dribbling 78 agility 82 bounce 79 dribbling is exactly top tier for a box to box at this stage of the game now if you look at defending the physicality him having anticipate on basic, insane pace. As a stay back DM, it makes much more sense in my opinion. Obviously the main con from the card is the height being 5'9". But aside from that man, this team of the year Mateus is very underrated and slept on and as a stay back DM, I feel like he would be very crucial for your team if you guys did decide to buy him. Second honorable mention is gonna be that 92 rated fantasy FC hero Ramirez. We're looking at cards 5'10 on the height, High, high work rates, double four star on those skill moves and weak foot, right foot. Acceleration type is controlled, 93 pace, 87 shooting, 88 passing, 89 dribbling, 91 defending, 90 physicality as well. Now the play styles that comes with this Mr. Ramirez, chip shot, slide tackle, press proven and relentless all on basic, intercept on gold and ping pass on gold as well. Guys, I forgot to mention in the intro of the video, but for today's video, it's only gonna include players that have their central position based players. For example, if you wanna play a fullback at the DM role, you definitely can, but they're not gonna be included on today's list. It's just anybody that has a center mid, cam, or CDM as their primary or secondary position. They would be a great addition if you were to put him in that CDM role. Now with this Ramirez, he has intercept on gold with everything in defending category being 90 plus and with 90 plus pace, 99 stamina as well to last you the whole game. Obviously Ramirez, can definitely play that box-to-box -box role, but I feel like at this stage of the game, as a stay-back DM, 
it works even better. Even though he does have high, high work rates, but you put him on the stay back instruction and you do not have to worry about those high offensive work rates. Decent physicality, 99 stamina to last you the whole game. I mean, who doesn't love a stay back DM with 90 plus pace? Good passing as well. 84 finishing is a little bit low. So you guys can kind of see where I'm coming from when I say that Ramirez works better as a stay back DM and as a box to box. But Ramirez is definitely still a good option at this stage of the game. Coming in at number 10 is gonna be that 93 rated team of the season, Eduardo Camavinga. We're looking at a card six foot on the hide, high, high work rates, double four star on the skimmels and weak foot, left foot, acceleration type is controlled explosive. 90 pace, 87 shooting, 91 passing, 92 dribbling, 94 defending, 87 physicality as well. Now the play styles that Mr. Camavinga comes with, inside to pass, long ball pass, tiki taka, block, jockey, technical, and flare. All on basic, the three play styles on gold, press proven, bruiser, and intercept as well. Like I said in my previous players, this man definitely can produce in the box-to-box -box role. But the defending, the physicality, him having intercept on gold with jockey and block and bruiser on gold as well. Being at six foot, yes, he has high, high work rates. You put the stay back instruction and the stay back DM role, you do not have to worry about the attacking work rates. This man... As a stay back DM, would be very, very nice. He would intercept a lot of the balls. Very nice with the height. A defensive powerhouse with his body type in game. 90 pace as well. 1000% a great option to use in the defensive role. Coming in at number nine is going to be that 94 rated team of the season. Moments, if I'm not mistaken, to Rum. We are looking at cards. 6 4 on the height. High, high work rates. 4 star skimmels. 5 star weak foot. Right foot. Acceleration type is controlled. Lengthy. 90 pace. 92 shooting. 90 passing, 90 dribbling, 95 defending, 91 physicality as well. Now the play size that Mr. Turam comes with, power header, anticipate, bruiser, jockey, technical, press proven, and long ball pass, all on basic. The three play styles on gold are tiki taka, ping pass, and relentless as well. This man Turam has that relentless on gold to last you the whole game. Being at 6-4 with his body frame in game, insane physicality, top tier defending, would anticipate on basic and bruiser as well 90 plus pace to never get wide ball and i'll be wide five star weak foot to pass out the back this man as a stay back dm would be absolutely insane like i said before he can definitely play the box to box role but as a stay back dm he would be a great addition and would be even better in that role coming in at number eight is going to be someone highly slept on i feel like it's going to be that 96 rated team of the season moments Oberdorf, hopefully I'm not mispronouncing that. 5'9 on the height, she has medium high work rates. Five star skill moves, four star weak foot with that right foot. Acceleration type is controlled. 86 pace, 75 shooting, 91 passing, 92 dribbling, 93 defending, 96 physicality as well. Now the play styles that she comes with, power shot, finesse shot, long ball pass, slide tackle, bruiser, press proven, and first touch, all on basic. The three play styles on gold, inside to pass, intercept and anticipate here we go probably with the first realistic clear choice as a stay back dm because her shooting is absolutely terrible with that 64 finishing but the defending the physicality the pace aside from the sprint speed you give her a nice shadow chemistry style or a catalyst goes up to the high 80s top tier passing four star weak foot but the best aspect from oberdorf is she has intercept and anticipate on gold that is very crucial for a stay back DM. And she's under a million coins, guys. So a complete bargain. And she would definitely do a great job if you guys did decide to buy her. Coming in at number seven is going to be the 96 rated team of the season, Grace Gayoro. Hopefully I'm not mispronouncing that. I do apologize. Five, six on the height. High, high work rates. Four star skill moves. Five star weak foot with that right foot. Acceleration type is controlled. 90 pace, 87 shooting, 92 passing. 96 dribbling, 96 defending, 91 physicality as well. Now the play styles that she comes with, ping pass, long ball pass, tiki taka, intercept, and relentless all on basic. The three play styles on gold are incisive pass, first touch, and anticipate as well. Now obviously, she could definitely do the box-to-box -box roll very well. -y. But as a stay back DM, with that top tier interceptions, top tier stand tackling with anticipate on gold, 94 defense awareness, insane pace to never get wide ball or LB wide, 
five star weak foot with that 99 short pass and 97 long pass to always be able to pass out the back 99 stamina to last you the whole game i think as a stay back dm she would be absolutely insane and she's under a million coins so definitely not expensive and a great option at this stage of the game coming in at number six is going to be a fan favor for a lot of people and rightfully so it's going to be that 94 rated team of the season moments and golo kante five six on the height medium high work words, double four star on those skill moves and weak foot right foot acceleration tap is controlled explosive 90 pace 74 shooting 83 passing 88 dribbling 94 defending 86 physicality as well now the play styles that mr kante comes with Long ball pass, jockey, slide tackle, press proven, first touch, and quick step all on basic. The three play styles on gold are relentless, intercept, and anticipate as well. Now, there's not much to say about Conte. We all know his main role in FIFA for the most part, unless they give him like a footies card, is to always be that main stay back DM role. Top tier defending with everything pretty much being maxed out except heading accuracy, which is kind of irrelevant. He has 80 strength and 97 aggression, which is a great combination with that anticipate on gold. Solid dribbling for the most part. Solid passing for the most part. Double four star as well. Medium high work rates, which are probably the best work rates for a stay back DM role. 97 acceleration, 84 sprint speed to never get wide ball or LB wide. Obviously, the main con with this card is that he has 5'6". You guys know me. My personal preference is tall midfielders, but I can't deny the quality that this card offers for the stay back DM role. Coming in at number five is going to be that 95 rated team of the season, Leon Goretzka. We're looking at cards six, two on the height, high, high work rates, four star skill moves, five star weak foot with that right foot. Acceleration type is control lengthy, 91 pace, 94 shooting, 93 passing, 93 dribbling, 92 defending, 95 physicality as well. Play styles that Mr. Goretzka comes with is finesse shot, power shot, long ball pass, bruiser, aerial, and technical all on basic. The three play styles on gold are first touch, intercept, and incisive pass as well. Now, I know some people are probably going to call me crazy for putting this man as a stay back DM role and probably another card as well coming a little after this Goretzka, but obviously he has top tier finishing with the five star weak foot. He can definitely play that box to box role, but the dribbling isn't exactly top tier with him being 6 2 and because of his body type, especially in bad gameplay. He's not going to turn the best, he's not going to turn horribly. But he's not going to be on the same level as the box-to-box -box midfielders that are way more agile and way better balanced. So I feel like as a stay-back DM, with that 98 interceptions, intercept on gold, insane physicality being at 6 2 hands body type, good enough pace to never get wide ball or LB wide, why not? This man would for sure offer everything you need in that specific position. And if I'm not mistaken, he's under a million coins, which is really, really cheap. So if you definitely need a stay-back DM consider definitely getting this Goretzka. Coming in at number four is going to be that 96 rated team of the season, Rodri. We're looking at cards six, three on the height, medium high work rates, four star skill moves, five star weak foot, right foot acceleration type is mostly lengthy, 89 pace, 85 shooting, 90 passing, 91 dribbling, 96 defending, 94 physicality as well. Now the play styles that Mr. Rodri comes with, long ball pass, tiki taka, block, slide tackle, bruiser, and press proven all on basic. The three play styles on gold are power shot, pink pass, and anticipate as well. Now, there's not much to say about Rodri because I think we can all come to an agreement that the main role for Rodri is the stay back DM role. Obviously, you could play him as a box to box, but the dribbling with him being 6'3 and his body type and the agility balance combination isn't exactly the best. He also only has 77 finishing. Obviously, he has 99 shot power. 96 long shots with a power shot placed on gold, but let's not lie to ourselves. The stay back DM is where this man is meant to play. Everything defending category, basically close to being maxed out, if not 99 defense awareness, 98 stand tackling, insane physicality with 93 strength and aggression, 99 stamina to last you the whole game, medium high work rates, great work rates for stay back DM, great pace to never get wide ball and LB wide, no doubt. He's top five in the video game for that specific position. Coming in at number three is going to be that 96 rated Declan Rice team of the season. I am a huge fan of this card. 6-1 on the height, medium high work rates, double four star on those skill moves and weak foot, right foot. Acceleration type is controlled, lengthy. 92 pace, 82 shooting, 90 passing, 91 dribbling, 96 defending, 94 physicality as well. 
Now the play styles that Mr. Rice comes with, incisive pass, ping pass, long ball pass, anticipate, bruiser, press proven, and first touch all on basic. The three play styles on gold are relentless, block, and intercept as well. Now earlier this year, we all know Rice got a fantasy FC version. For me, he was okay at best. Obviously his main role was being the stay back DM role. His agility and balance was a little bit low to my liking, but obviously he's meant to be a stay back defensive midfielder. Now with his team of this season, I don't know if you guys saw the player review. For me, one of the best midfielders in the game, he definitely can also play that box to box role, but even better as a stay back DM with that 80 agility, 80 balance, but the rest of the dribbling category is 92 plus, so it makes him feel very nice on the ball Insane defending with everything being 96 plus, not including heading accuracy, 91 strength, 96 aggression to win every single one-on-one -on -one tackle, 99 stamina to last you the whole game, top tier pace to never get wide ball or LB wide. Like I said before, I'm a huge fan of this Declan Rice card. If you guys need a powerhouse in the stay back the Emerald with those medium high work rates, definitely consider buying him for your team. Coming in at number two is probably gonna be the biggest hot take for today's video, but hear me out guys. 96 rated team of the season, Federico Valverde. Six foot on the height. High, high work, it's four star skill moves, five star weak foot with that right foot. Acceleration type is controlled. 96 pace, 91 shooting, 89 passing, 91 dribbling, 94 defending, 90 physicality as well. Now the play styles, and Mr. Valverde comes with his power shot, power header, long ball pass, inside surpass, block, and Travella all on basic. The three play styles on gold are relentless, rapid, and anticipate AK Raccoon. Now, obviously, we all know, based off my player review, and for those of you guys that try to Valverde, he can definitely play that box to box role. But as a stay back DM, I feel like it works even better for him. Hear me out 85 agility. 81 balance isn't exactly the best combination with him being six foot and his body type and the terrible gameplay currently in team of the season. I'm not saying his dribbling is bad, but considering how the conditions are currently with the gameplay, I feel like a stay back DM when Mr. Team of the Season Valverde, 90 plus pace with that rapid on gold, top tier defending with that anticipate on gold, insane physicality with him being six foot and his body type. Five star weak foot with the top tier passing. I feel like with this man as a stay back DM, it would be literally impossible to go past him. Obviously, he has high, high work rates. Just make sure you put the instruction on stay back while attacking, and you do not have to worry about those high attacking work rates. But this man in that specific position would be almost impossible to cook up. Trust me, guys. If you guys have an insane and overpowered team like with Hollett, Bellingham, those type of cards, and you have Alverda as well. Consider putting Valverde in that stay back the Emerald and you guys will see what I'm talking about. But coming in at number one, and some people are definitely going to say I'm biased for this, but it is what it is. For me, the best stay back DM in the EFC 24 Ultimate Team at this stage of the game is 93 rated Team of the Year icon Patrick Vieira. 6'4 on the height, medium high work rates, double four star on those skimmels and weak foot, right foot. Acceleration type is control lengthy. 87 pace, 84 shooting, 86 passing, 88 dribbling, 92 defending, 94 physicality as well. Now the play styles that Mr. Vieira comes with, power header, slide tackle, bruiser, press proven, and relentless all on basic. The three play styles on gold are block and intercept as well. Now obviously, this man can definitely play the box-to-box -box role, but we all know Vieira is mainly known for that stay back DM role. And for me, Vieira, is just an absolute tank, force field, and a wall in the midfield. Being at 6'4", with 87 pace, a good pace split, by the way, insane defending with the intercept play style on gold, top tier physicality with his body type, 92 strength, 95 aggression, good passing as well with that four star weak foot, medium high work rates. It's very hard for me to see somebody else playing better in that stay back DM role in this Vieira because he offers everything defensively how he plays in game with the stats he offers everything with the height he offers everything with the physicality and the body type it's just there's a reason that whenever pros were competing a couple months ago or usually compete every single year in FIFA they have that combination of Hullet and Vieira 
Hullard as the box to box, Vieira as the stay back DM. And there's a reason for that is that Vieira's force field and his insane reach being at 6'4 and the top tier defensive animations he gets in game is just second to none. Not even comparable in my opinion. But that concludes my list on the top 10 best stay back DMs, aka defensive midfielders in EFC 24 Ultimate Team at this stage of the game. You guys let me know in the comment section down below and let me know who is your favorite stay back DM at this stage of the game. Also, let me know if you guys agree with my list or not. Let me know if you guys felt like somebody in the list is a little too high up and they should have been moved down a little bit more or someone on the list is a little too low and they should have been moved higher up a little bit more as well. Also, if your favorite defensive midfielder is not on today's list, you do not have to necessarily listen to me. This is just my personal preference, my opinion. This is who I believe are the best defensive midfielders if you were to put them in that specific role in your team. But nonetheless, guys, there's just so many good midfielders at this stage of the game. So whichever one you want to choose and is doing a very good option still for you, go ahead and continue using them for yourself. Thank you guys so much for the support on all the videos. You guys are absolutely amazing. The next video I'm going to go ahead and drop is going to be the top 10 best box-to-box -box midfielders in AFC 24 Ultimate Team at this stage of the game, in my opinion. Another very, very difficult list. But you guys know me. I always try my best. Thank you guys once again. Until next time, it's been your boy Dan FIFA. I am out. Bye-bye.